Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Prospects and Shore and Warren. My name is Chris, and joining me today we have... Carson. And we're going to be watching some Isaiah Simmons with you guys. So he is a fourth year junior from Clemson University. I believe it's Clemson University, right? It is. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then he is listed unofficially before the combine, of course, at 6'3", 225. And he is 21 years old. So... Uh, first, any thoughts on his uh, measurements and that whole kind of physical aspect? He's um, a very big build for uh, safety, which he can play at some point. A little undersized for the linebacker, but he should be able to hold up fine at either. Sweet. So, uh, you're obviously quite familiar with Simmons. Uh, anything that you want to point out before we start that maybe we should be looking for? Uh, he's an absolute athletic freak. Uh, the way he can move at 225 pounds, like I mentioned earlier, he can play linebacker or safety and he can be that nickel type. Played safety his freshman year, and then his uh, last year was linebacker, and he'll be a linebacker again mainly this year, but he serves as that nickel. Whenever you go to at the four two five and stuff. Nice. So one thing that I do find kind of interesting about Simmons, based on this page, uh, is that he was only a three star recruit. So what do you think that that has to say about Clemson and their development of him and how he's continuing to improve year over year? Clemson didn't win a national championship two in the last three for no reason. They have great development. So coming from Kansas, you know. Just, it's not really a football powerhouse. You know, it's more basketball. And then so three-star recruit, and then he's just developed into a basically first-round lock this upcoming year. Nice. So you want to start with Notre Dame first or Georgia Tech? Notre Dame. All righty. To the passer, Ian oh, has to I've got to you hit. The there we go. Okay. Um, here we go. He is number 11 for this particular game. On the edge, almost. I don't know if that was edge or force. That play looks like force. And then coverage. So, again, this boosts his role versatility. Ooh, nice tackle. Nice shed. Nickel. Lincoln's trying to go after that screen. So one thing you see with Simmons right now, he's lining up everywhere. It speaks to that versatility I was talking about earlier. He's major made the most part in the nickel in this game. In the Georgia Tech game, you will see him more at linebacker. Okay. 
Playing along its own looks, is that typical? Yeah, we're uh, more zone based. Oh, that was nice. Big undercut. He has pretty good acceleration and good closing speed, especially for a guy that big. Nice switch. I like how he was able to I'll actually rewind this real quick. They're gonna run I don't even necessarily know if that's a pick play. It looks like it could be. He's just gonna do a nice job going over the top of that. It's just very smooth with everything he does. It's yeah, that play wasn't so smooth, but the recovery here is fantastic. Get a hand on that ball, it's that's something you shouldn't be able to do at 225 pounds. And he can jump out the he can jump out the gym. He over 40 inch vertical. Oh man! But yeah, this receiver kind of takes him outside a little bit initially, then just comes right back across underneath and gets him spin cycled. But he's able to stay relatively in phase and come back across to get his hand on the ball. That's pretty nice ball tracking. Boykin's a big dude, too. One of Lamar Jackson's top receivers in Baltimore this year. Pass rushing a little bit. downfield coverage from the whole team. And he's staying right on him. Very close and speak to the pan on the ball. Oh, where's the fumble? I think they called it incomplete, I think, but that was still a good play. Nice tackle. Great very technique. good tackler. Best tackler on the team. He was the only one that could tackle against Georgia Tech. I like how he diagnosed the screen. He wasn't able to completely get there, but made the right read. One thing you notice with Simmons, he's got really long arms. He's able to keep the guys out of his chest and it makes it easier to shed blocks. Very quick to read the plays. He's doing a good job. Oh, nice patience in the zone. Not over committing. That whole secondary seems to be doing pretty decent in this game. This coverage by AJ Terrell. I don't think they flagged him though. Sack. Yep. He rarely misses tackles in open space. Same thing. And there he is again.
Oh, that was a nice job of staying patient. He waits for 78 to come across on the double team. Uh, I want to say that might be Lawrence. Oh, no, that's Christian Wilkins. Yeah, Lawrence was suspended. Wasn't a great angle there. It yeah. Shows Joseph's nice speed. So I probably want to see that get a little bit flatter instead of angled. This coverage by 19. Now another thing too is we've seen him play deep in cover two, and as you, we saw a couple times, you see him pass rush at the line, uh, get some sacks, get some even. I think I saw a TFL or two, and they're not even just playing him soft nickel like zone based off man nickel. They're playing him here pretty tight at the line. Granted, it wasn't exactly pressed, but it was still hard coverage. And same thing, they're playing him pretty hard at the lot. And then the next play is off. Oh, that was a nice undercut. One thing with Simmons, he's when he reads the play, he Goes. He doesn't second guess, which is good. Even if you're wrong every now and again, just trust your read and go. Because more times than not, that's going to make let you make the play. Boom. And that first step, like you talked about with the acceleration and the burst, that's what's kind of more impressive almost than the speed. Because there's going to be a lot of linebackers, especially in the current, recent in future classes that are fast, uh, it's his first step that kind of separates him from a lot of the other players that are coming out this year. Did he just line him up hand in dirt? Oh, no, that's number three. No, they point, they're pointing at the wrong guy. He comes rushing on the edge. Same thing. Nice Same first step. Closing speed. Oh, and the recovery. Yep. He strips the ball, too. I think they called this back somehow. Called it in. Uh, no. It should have been worse than interception. Play. Yeah, I think it was. That's a great play. I remember that. I don't know if they can call that a fumble, but either way, the ball never hit the ground, so that should be a turnover of some kind. Interesting. So overall thoughts on that game? Well, the main thing you notice right away is the versatility lined up all over, playing a lot of nickel, covering the slot guys, but then you still rush the passer. And the, the main, other than on the field play, you see the great tackling. He rarely misses a tackle, and he's got great athleticism to be able to change direction and close on these quick receivers. And then you see he has a he has a nose for the football, punched out that ball for an entry pass for the ball there for a fumble. He's just he's just always around the football and two hundred twenty five pounds moves really well. So one word that gets thrown a lot around a lot, especially when it comes to the draft and, and upcoming players, is playmaker. How do you think that he fixed that playmaker type of label that you hope for from a first round pick? 
Uh, well, he just he does what he's supposed to do. I don't, he's not like super flashy or anything, but he just he finds a way to make tackles when he needs to, and then he she shows the ability to be able to punch the ball out, get the ball, and just he can cover slot guys. He can cover uh, pre- like not full press, but like tight man, soft zone, soft man. He shows versatility and coverage, and then you have the ability where he can play linebacker and even come off the edge standing up as a linebacker. Sweet. So, depending on how long this takes to load, I might save this question for after, but what? how do you compare him to someone like Derwin James? Uh, Derwin is more... Uh, what's the word? Well, better, but he's... As a prospect coming out of Florida State. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, he's lighter also. I mean, he's about a good 20 pounds lighter. But, I mean, James is a great athlete, but Simmons is a better athlete, if you ask me. Even at 20 pounds uh, heavier, James might be quicker. Uh, but... I think Simmons has that quicker acceleration and first step. He has the better vertical. It's just, but Derwin is, I mean, they're both like the Swiss Army knife. You can line up, up in many different places and they'll go to work. They, their games are sort of similar, but they're, the way they play their game is very different. So I don't. He's not the best comparison. He's the best comparison of like what you're, what he's asked to do. Derwin's a good comparison, but they play very differently. So this was from Thursday, Thursday night. night. Still number 11? Yep. Oh, nice. See, there it is again. Making a tackle in open space. It's just what it does best. And this year, he won't have uh, some of the same guys in front of him either, so he will have to be a little bit more aggressive in making some plays. Yeah, he has none of the same guys. They all, they're all gone. Well, I mean, they still have, like, Xavier Thomas, and uh, yeah. there was another and guy or two that were, like, five-star. Yeah, Justin Foster. I mean, yeah, we still got some depth guys, but yeah, all the starters are gone. If you ask me, I think Xavier Thomas is better than all four of those guys from last year. I'm sure he will be by next year. <laughs> you should have you should have made the argument last year too, but he's a freshman, so you know freshmen don't play a lot. For your dad, so oh, oh man, headhunter, okay. boom! Not a, not afraid of contact either. Kicked him short of the first down, too. Didn't look like he used the helmet or anything like that either, so it was pretty clean. Yeah. Oh, man. It shows a little bit of pass rushing ability there, and that's a little club and a little quick swim over the head. Side pursuit. Okay, 
Okay, nice gaps. Started out outside as a force and then moved in. Backside play. They seem to be going away from him quite often. I don't know if that's, I would assume yeah, that's partially by design. That's the best player on the defense, so you see a lot of that this year. Nice motor. First the fumble wasn't Simmons, but someone comes in. Nice TFL. I don't know if you uh, said this in the beginning, but yeah, he's a fourth year junior. He's not actually a senior. I'm not sure which one you said, but I doubt he stays another year. Uh, I think I said third year junior. I don't remember. I'll, I'll look in a minute. That's he's fourth year junior, but yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he'll leave. Oh man, got back there quick. Probably could have been a bit more patient. I don't know whose responsibility the oh, 44 maybe. No, 44 was inside. So I, I think I think Simmons is responsible for that. I think he crashed too soon, which opened up the run for Oliver. A bit over aggressive. by 47. He always does a nice job at the point of attack of blocks. He always gets his hands on first. Is a force. Oh, well, that's how was. Okay. Same thing. Nice force play. What kind of formation is this? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Is that even legal? It's like, it's, it looks like the swinging gate, except for the not I've seen a lot of crazy stuff at Michigan. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Nice stuff. I have a whole defense there. This was after the pit, too. You know, the neutral line stand. Basically, it's the, that's oh. when you knew Georgia Tech was done. done. Oh. oh, dang. I don't know if you heard that, but it's starting to thunder out here.
So, I don't know when the next active play for him is going to be, so I'll ask you this while we wait. How would you compare him? Now, this is kind of going off the rails a little bit. How would you compare him to a Jabril Peppers? Well, I think they're completely different. Because uh, Peppers, he was more that guy where, like, strong safety linebacker, obviously, but, like, he was a guy that was under, really undersized for the linebacker. And... And I never really tr- trusted him too much in coverage. Ah, I right. I trust Simmons in coverage. More than Jabril. And and Simmons is um he's plenty big to hold up that linebacker. I wonder what Simmons would be doing if he went to Michigan in a Viper role. I'd be very interested to see if he if he fit that kind of role. Because I'm sure he'd be better than Kalik. See, that's another open show tackle for him. Right? He's just he's at such a closing speed, and it's just such a reliable tackle in open space. Do you happen to know if he got named captain? What? Do you happen to know if he got named captain? Uh, I don't. I don't think he's a captain. See, look, there, there's the vertical right there. But um, no, I don't think he's a captain. I mean, we don't put captains on the jerseys or anything, so it's really always hard to tell. I think it's, I think it's like, it's like, I think it's like all linemen. So very experienced offensive line this year. Uh, four seniors and then a sophomore, but the sophomore was the number one player in Ohio a couple years ago. Oh, you guys like change captains last year every week. Yeah, this past week for the Notre Dame game, it was Skalski, Ancrum, Pollard, and Terrell. Skalski, Pollard, Terrell, and who? Uh, Ancrum, Antrum. Ancrum? Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the corner, Terrell, and then the linebacker, Ancrum. Who was that one? Ancrum, Terrell. Uh, Skalski. Skalski, the linebacker, and who else? Uh, Pollard. Pollard, okay. So, yeah, uh, two linemen, the corner, and a linebacker. So, they're all, those, are, those guys are all seniors, which technically okay. Sim, Simmons isn't. Yeah, Dabo doesn't. You're not a captain if you're not a senior, so. Unless you're Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson got his junior year, but not a sophomore, I don't think. Which is the same thing with Trevor right now. Oh, nice discipline. He's so he's so good. I mean, he's he, he's a special player. I mean, you can ask him to do anything, and I think he would be good at it. And that's good discipline, not grabbing the uh, the horse collar either. Yeah. What's it 
That was a fortunate pick. I don't see food. It's in the fridge. Oh man, did he catch that? No. Cool. So overall thoughts on uh, how he's led, even if you've seen the spring game, just overall this year since we last saw him versus Alabama. Uh, not much has changed, really. I mean, he has a bigger role on the defense. He's he's the guy, basically. Now, he's not the play caller, but like he's what the defense goes around. He, um, yeah, he's just his play hasn't really changed. He just he's a freak who gets around the field and makes every tackle he's supposed to, really. But he's being relied on more to serve as a multi guy with multiple roles and help this team because he's only one of four returning starters on defense. So, oh, wow. Yeah, the only four returning are him, Terrell, and the two safeties. So, uh, for a minute here, I'm just going to go over a couple of things since this is the first. I'm going to consider him a safety for my personal grades and almost call him like a box safety similar to what I'm going to use Grant Delpit. Uh, so I'm going to go over a couple of things I'm looking for when I look at safeties as part of this. The first thing that stands out to me is tackling. So when this loads, I'm going to end up giving Simmons a 10 for tackling. He has looked really, really solid through both of the games that we watched in that particular area. I don't I could technically go with a 9 if I wanted to, but uh, I think a ton is pretty fair given what he's shown so far. Yeah, I think 10 is fair. Man coverage, also, um, this is going to be more for slot guys. So we do see Simmons quite a bit in the slot, but every once in a while you'll see like a free safety come down. Lines do this a lot with Tracy Walker. Uh, so whenever you're basically lined up as a corner, covering like a tight end or whatever. Right, um, running back also, you see safeties on running backs quite a bit. So I'm going to go with a 9 there. He doesn't really play outside corner a lot, which some guys do. Uh, I think Nasir Adderley would probably be a guy who I would give a 9 or 10 to also, uh, for those of you guys who remember him last year. Zone coverage, same thing. I'm going to go with a 9 for now, simply because I want to see more first off. Uh, but also, I tend to be a little bit stricter with his own coverage on safeties because you need to see a lot more. Uh, safeties, especially if they're going to be actually playing a safety role, like over the top, free safety, whatever. Uh, you need to just be able to cover those single high areas. So we don't really get to see that from him a lot. Uh, something that we could be maybe seeing more of before he declares athleticism. If I did point fives, I would probably go with a point nine point five, but I guess I'm gonna go with a ten. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I need to go with twenties out of these because I only have five. So I'm gonna go with nineteen for tackling. Uh, seventeen, maybe eighteen for man. Probably a sixteen-ish for zone. Athleticism is going to be 18, and then Intangibles, Junior, so kind of hard to say. Do you remember what his like GPA and all that off-the-field stuff is? I know he has no off-the-field stuff, but uh, I'm pretty sure his GPA is pretty high. I don't think anybody on Clemson had below 3-0, so... Okay. Uh, for sure, started. Okay, so he does have experience and all that, blah, blah, blah. I'll go with the 17. No injuries or anything like that, too, which I'm going to consider probably part of the category. So, uh, 15s. 
it was pretty high, actually. I don't foresee myself giving too many over 15. So, plus 1, 2, 3, plus 6, 7, 8, plus 4, 12. So, that's 19, 30, 45, 60, plus 12. That doesn't seem right, does it? That's like a second round grade. That doesn't seem fair. I'm going to bump that up to 18. 17. And 19. And 18. And take away from 20, because 20s would be a 1. Oh! No, okay, 20s is 100. So, 100 minus 1, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93. 92, 91. That seems about right. That's an all pro, not all pro. I'm pretty sure that's a pro bowl. Point being, that's like the top 10 player in the class. Roughly. Yeah, I would say around top 15, so. Cool. And obviously, all this stuff is flexible to change. This is loose. I tend to get harder and tighter as the year goes on, all that stuff. Uh, anything particularly that you disagree with from those out of 20? Uh, not really. I'd maybe do tackling a 20 because he's just such a good tackler. But everything seems about right. Cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff for extra stuff. Uh, but for now, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.